Hello everybody, welcome back once again. I can't breathe, the elevation's quite high out here. Sorry, I'm trying to be out of breath. But anyway, I'm here in Inner Mongolia, in China still. And this video is gonna take place over two days because today, this afternoon, I got pretty low on my battery in my Neo car, right? My Neo EC6. And so I decided now is the perfect time since there's like no infrastructure at all out here to book the Neo charging van that can drive to you anywhere in China. I've never done it before. Uh, it's one of the services they offer. I figured why not give it a go. Basically, I'm like four hours from Beijing right now driving and about two hours to the next city, which you may or may not know. If you know it, you might call it Hohat. Um, that's not really how you say it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and there's nothing really nearby besides those two cities. And the closest um, non-neo, any kind of charging um, infrastructure here is about an hour away. Um, and I don't, I, I might be able to make it, but I'm not sure. So I figured now's the time to contact Neo and try their service with the, the truck that drives to you. So basically the process was today I went to my Neo group uh, in the app. I have a service group for, um, you know, they take care of me as a customer. I said, I need to book the, the truck. And I said, okay, we'll put you in contact with the staff in Inner Mongolia and then they will contact you. So they called me, you know, five minutes later they called me and they asked me when and where I needed my EC6 to be charged up. So I told them here in this beautiful grassland, the earliest we can get to you is tomorrow morning, uh, late morning, early afternoon. So that's what they're gonna do. So about 5 p.m. I called them or contacted them, they called me. And then so about, you know, hopefully 16 to 18 hours later, they should be able to drive to me and give me a full charge. And that service is anywhere in mainland China and supposedly also coming to Norway when they reach Norway and probably other countries as well. Uh, and that's one of the benefits of being a Neo owner. So we're gonna see if it actually works as advertised, um, as intended, and I'll show you the process. So next time you see me will be tomorrow when the Neo van is pulling up and showing you how good Neo's customer service should be. So see you guys tomorrow. I knew he was coming around noon and just checked out of the hotel here because at noon you gotta check out and he's here. So he pulled up right when I was coming out. So perfect timing. So far so good with uh, Neo service and this whole, um, you know, range anxiety problem where people aren't sure they can go anywhere with an electric car. Well with Neo, it looks like we legitimately can go anywhere. Anywhere in China anyway. Yeah, 
充电桩设施也不是太完善啊，就那些很大的旅游区基本上没有充电桩，所以说外地来的朋友，像从本地出行啥，我们很多次都以以这个越野版移动充电车跑。所以你很忙对吗？啊，你每一天很忙吗？呃，对，基本上像从五月份开始到十月份，每天都最忙。OK， 那你你上班时间是多多长时间？上班不固定，十二小时有，十五小时有。哦，好辛苦。<笑>啊，非常好。你你来过这里吗？我来过很多次。<笑>是吗？<笑>很多客人因为这这里附近没有没有充电桩，充电桩没有充电桩。啊，好好好好。<笑>你要喝点东西哦，去买给你，你给你啊。我我是车上带的。好的好的好的，那谢谢谢谢。我们大概一个小时还是？差不多一个小时多。OK 好好,好，那你你休息。行。好，谢谢。All right, while he's charging, I'm gonna go back in here and grab something to drink. And he said he's been out here to this this grassland many times because here in Inner Mongolia, like I've told you, there's not a lot of infrastructure for charging. So it's pretty much amazing what Neo can do when they can. Charge your car anywhere, and this is not like a paid advertisement for Neo, but anywhere in China, Neo will come to you, which is incredible, in my opinion. The fake, uh, fake Pringles, fake Lay's, can't be cool. Camel milk powder, cool. Four hundred and eighty rupees. Wow, it's very expensive. That camel milk powder formula. It's 480 RMB. It's about 80 bucks. Check this out. This is a uh, Mongolian tortilla warmer, just like we have at home. Get yourself a Gucci hat, Burberry hat, while you're here in the Inner Mongolian steppes. Or you can go the traditional route if you like. Okay, so when you think about it, with an electric car, and you worry there's not infrastructure, right? And a normal electric car, um, you're worried about the range. You have this anxiety. You can't go anywhere. You can't go everywhere that you want to go because you can't go up to the mountains or the rural desert or wherever. But thankfully, seriously, the best feature of Neo. And the reason why I chose them, one of the main reasons anyway, is because of this Neo Power, because of this charging van. Because I really want to travel around China again, and I want to, I want to go everywhere. I want to see things I haven't seen before. I want to get out of the cities.、I、want to go to a place like this? Well, not this exactly place, the parking lot, but places like this. It's not an advertisement for Neo. None of this stuff is. I'm not. I don't work for them. They don't pay me. But when Neo comes to your country, if you're in a country like America, is big and also doesn't have great infrastructure everywhere, also can hopefully have Neo charging vans, which would be amazing. So my review of the service. Hold on, I'm not done charging yet. But my review of the service so far is fantastic. Thank you, Neo. All right, and that's about it. So he got here at twelve thirty, started charging, and now is one forty-four p.m. If you can see that, one forty-four p.m. Took a little bit over an hour, and went from. About a hundred kilometer range left, a little bit over a hundred. Now to about five hundred, and we're good to go. So, if that was helpful, if you found that interesting,、um, let me know in the comments. If you think that's a really great service that Neo provides, let me know in the comments. If you think it's a terrible idea, let me know in the comments. And、uh, I'm off to the next station. Bye bye. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.